Hey everybody, welcome back to Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. Today we're going to try and get the wheels and centers taken off this tractor. Start by loosening these clamps for the spin out wheels. Now that those are loose, take the actual clamps off. I get the center piece loose. Wow, that was like ringing the church bell. that one. Okay, Let's see if we can get this side loose. Now that the wheels are off, see all the grease cake back in here, the seal must be out on this one. So I'm going to have to pull that out and replace it. This side has a lot of grease, but the back side of the hub is clean. I don't know if it just all leaked out of this cap on this side. I have to clean it up and get it investigated a little further. I'll try and get this other brake pedal pulled out that I didn't get done the other day. rod for the hydraulic actuator out of the way. Now this is the PTO engagement lever here. Well, 
That caterpillar really wanted to be stubborn. There's the handle for the hand clutch. for the hand clutch out of there. I'll just leave the, this is the handle for the parking brake. You press both brake pedals at the same time to pull this handle up and then it will latch them forward. Pretty simple design but works. since I know the history of the tractor, I know all the gears are good, I know the brakes are good, I know the hand clutch is good, the hydraulics are good, so I'm no need to tear it apart any further than I already have. There's not much left here as it is. We'll get cleaned up, figure out those seals on the rear end, it'll be time to start reassembling and painting stuff. I want to remind everybody to stay safe out there. The other day at work, I wasn't here in the shop, I was out of the job site. I managed to run a Phillips bit in an impact through my finger. So, uh, if you're looking to cut meat out of your diet, I don't recommend this method. It doesn't feel real good. That's the tip of the day. Stay safe. Catch you next time.